Hey there everyone, it's Todd from Gilla Games with another update. I've been working on a lot of quality of life enhancements, mostly by request from you guys. So I'm just gonna go through the list real quick. There's a lot of things, uh, a lot of small things in this update. Uh, so I'm gonna try to just go through them real quick. There's also some bug fixes, but uh, nothing huge. So I'm just gonna put the whole list in the description and um, you can also see it in the game from from the version history on the main menu so let's just start with uh, the song list here so in the in a previous update recently I added the ability to add uh, tags here let me actually go to the song list where you can click here and choose tags well now by request I've added a tag for the US and Canada region and the European region so you can specify that. Now a new thing here is, that's kind of a pain to have to click into each song to do that. Now if you click in the tag area on the list, it'll bring it up right here. So this is super convenient for tagging a lot of things very quickly. Okay, so the next thing is, um, I did some improvements on the sorting on song lists. Uh, previously you could only click, uh, one way and then no matter how many times you clicked it it was the same thing now uh, you can reverse the sorting by clicking it again to toggle the, the default sorting is going to show that you're sorted at, uh, on this column by showing the header in green so you can uh, see at a glance what you're sorting by and then if you click it again it's the reverse sorting shows that it's yellow so you can also sort by tags, which just kind of groups them together with the same tag. So if you have uh, multiple tags on them, it's, it's going to seem a little random, but if they have the same tags, then they'll at least be stuck together. Okay, here we are at the gig venue. And what I want to talk about, there's a couple of things uh, related to the gigs. Let me get my set list ready. Okay, that's fine. I'm not even going to worry about what I'm actually playing. But before I start it, um, I want to talk about there's been some confusion with the uh, amount of energy that the audience starts with. Sometimes people say, well, he starts with 90 or he starts with 40 or, and, well, I want to clarify that. You always start, the, the gigs always start with 100% energy unless low energy is a popular attitude, then it starts with 50. So it's either 100 or 50. The reason why it looked like less than 100 or less than 50 is because the gig was starting before the the black intro screen was done fading away so the first song had already started playing before that faded away so you didn't see the percentage until it was already some of it was used up some of the energy was used up so what I did was I, I make sure that the screen is completely faded away before it starts the first song so you can if you look down at the energy level in the lower left when I start the gig you'll see that it starts at 100 before the first song starts. There it is, and here we go, and we're off to the races. Of course, see, here's, a, here's a new jacket that hangs open uh, that you might have seen in a previous update. Okay, now on this screen, there's, there's a a few things here. The view results, you had to click on this button. Well, now you can press any key on the keyboard. So if you're just kind of kicking back, you don't want to reach for your mouse, just hit the space bar. And also right here, you had to click if you want to speed through these. You can also press a key to speed through those. And it's a similar thing. If you're in a, in a battle of the bands and it's showing the results from the battle, you can just press a key to go to these regular results. So just a little bit of um, convenience there. On the set list analysis, I, I've added the, the running energy and overall interest level that the gig had. So you can revisit it here and see how they changed throughout the gig, throughout the course of the gig. So that's just a little bit more information available. Um, that was another request by some players. Okay, that's it for the gig stuff. 
On this dialog right here where it shows the CD sales for each week, I did a couple of small improvements here. Um, the title up here now shows which week it is for and the main reason for that is because if you did uh, resting or practicing for so many days in a row that more than one week went by of results, it was only showing you, it was showing you multiple dialogues but only the most recent week's information so it would show the same information over and over again. Uh, which didn't make any sense. So that's been fixed. So now it tells you which week. So you, you would get a mul you know, multiple dialogues if you need, uh, if you went by multiple weeks, and each one will tell you the, the results from that week with the data on it. Also, this is a really minor, um, but you can now press return to dismiss this, which you couldn't before. Of course, escape worked, but return now works too. There's a minor enhancement to busking it's not really an enhancement just kind of a improved arrangement of how the uh, the musicians are standing there grouped up so that uh, they're not as wide because what was happening is they were, the ones out on the far left and right edges were getting cut off out of the, the, the camera frame uh, too soon uh, as the camera moved forward so now they're arranged into two rows that are kind of staggered so you can see them easier and I'll just show you here. So you got these uh, the guitar and bass kind of standing behind the front row. You can see them for much more of the video. And if there was a fifth person, they'd be on the right side. Small thing, this has actually been something, um, it started out as a, as a kind of a debug tool for myself and I was working on map stuff uh, to be able to see, if you look up here, to be able to see which state or province or if you're in Europe which country I'm actually pointing at but people actually requested to be able to see uh, which state or country that they're pointing at because if you're from Europe you're not super familiar with the United States and vice versa so um, I thought why not I just made it visible all the time now so it's just kind of a built-in tooltip type of thing except it doesn't replace the city tooltip here in the music store, the repair screen by popular demand uh, is now refurbish all button. Works exactly like repair all, except it refurbishes all. Now, um, just a quick note in case people didn't realize this, the refurbish cost includes the repair cost also. So if you do a repair all, you'll see the cost of refurbish go down by that much. So. If you do repair all first, when you meant to do refurbish all, it's okay. You're not going to lose any money. Uh, it, it changes the price. Let me do this. See, now the refurbish all is much less. Do that. Everything's off the list, and everything's 100%. Look at that. And there's a couple other enhancements that I can't really show right now because they're very situational. Like, uh, I added... The, I added a reminder uh, when you when, say you have a contract but you're not allowed to release uh, your album for a year after your previous contract release. Now that information is always up in your band info and your contract info right here. But it's hard to keep track of when you're just doing stuff. So now when that date arrives, June 2nd, 2007 for me, I'll get a notice, uh, you know, a notification pop up that says that the record label is ready for you to release your album. And also, if you are seven days within seven days of the deadline, you'll also get a reminder pop up to remind you that the deadline's coming up soon, just in case you lost track of it. Now, somebody it uh, mentioned that they they didn't know they had a multi region contract um, and they had a requirement of playing 50 gigs in each region so down here it would say out of 100 you know whatever out of 100 it just lumps them together instead of having a separate number for each region and I do wanna probably I'm gonna add that for each region but if you if you just hover over this there's a tool tip and this has been here, this isn't brand new, this has been here since the, the Europe expansion started. Um, the tooltip tells you where you still need to perform gigs. 
in which regions after the CD is released. So that's, that's still at least uh, somewhat helpful if you're not sure where you need to still play gigs. Okay, and that does it for this update. Uh, thanks for watching. And, um, oh, of course, I want to thank all the patrons again. There's, there's still more new ones. I, um, I think there's like 33 now. So they're going to start getting pretty crowded up in here. Um, I might have to change this, this layout pretty soon if the text starts getting too small to fit everybody. But uh, it's really awesome. And I, I did want to mention um, that the, the money from patrons, from the Patreon patrons, is um, really useful. They, they have gone into um, external expenses like Shady O'Grady's voice for the, uh, the Shady Awards, all that stuff. There was a whole batch of new voice work that needed to be done for that. The, the artwork. Um, I had some concept art made uh, from one of my artists that I contract um, to, to design uh, what the stage will look like. And so it's, it's things like that. You know, if I have to buy 3D models uh, for, for the stage or for, for anything. Um, let me see. Uh, you know, new clothing. I got, I got the, there's a few new pieces of clothing recently, including this one, which is really cool. It's like a... Red Riding Hood, and there's a few different color variations of it. And um, this guy, he has uh, a couple of new jackets, like this trench coat thing. And so that's that money from Patreon, Patreons. Pa I, I always get that mixed up. Patreon, Patron. That money is uh, really helpful to go into uh, paying for this kind of stuff: voice work, art, contracting. Uh, 3D models for clothing, uh, which is really nice because um, I, I always plan on reinvesting in the game, but it's nice that I don't have to uh, dip into my normal uh, account to have to do that for these kind of things. So I really appreciate the, uh, the patrons very much. So if you want to become a patron and help with that, um, the, the address is down in the description and it's also right here on the screen. So don't forget to like and subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.